everybody from YouTube. It's about six o'clock here on Friday, and uh, I'm actually headed down to uh, Abel Reservoir in uh, Stafford, Virginia. And uh, it's supposed to be a good place to fish. It's about 185 acres, and it's, uh, it's a couple miles long. Actually, it's pretty narrow, but very long. And um, definitely a troll motor is going to come in handy today on the kayak. Um, Anyways, it's supposed to be bass, catfish, uh, white perch. Uh, there's uh, rumors of walleye in this place and big catfish. So we're gonna give it a go this morning and uh, uh, try a little bit of everything and see what's hitting. Okay, time for some action. There goes a snake. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Oh. Missed him. Yep, bait's gone too. That's gonna bump me up.
but better pass. Oh yeah. Wow, he comes sailing out of the water. Nice pass. Alright, that's a little better. Nice pass. That's a little bit better fish. day out at Abel Reservoir, uh, there was definitely a distinctive pattern that seemed to work out there. Um, first off, uh, the bass were definitely in weed beds, uh, but it was near deeper water. They, they were not in weed beds near shallower water, so that was pretty consistent. Also, if there wasn't weed beds, if there was structure like, you know, fallen limbs or tree stumps or stuff like that, once again, near deeper water, that was... Um, that was pretty consistent as well. As far as bait's concerned, minnows were definitely still the winner. The only problem with this time of year is that shiners that you get from the bait shops don't last very long. You know, there's a pretty drastic change in water temperature from the, the water that they're stored in versus, you know, almost 80 degrees in, in the lake now. So they don't last real long. I lost half of my minnows, but minnows were still working. Uh, plastics were working as well. You know, I was using a green salamander. Uh, I'll show you a screenshot of the exact bait I was using. And the presentation seemed key, right? I, I, the finesse presentation was absolutely critical, you know, basically taking the weight off of the, uh, the salamander and just letting, letting it float gently down seemed to be um, something that was, uh, that was really working really well and the bass really liked it. So anyways, it was a great day. It's an awesome reservoir. You know, you can take your kayak out there. Uh, like I said, if you have a trolling on your, on your kayak, even better. But uh, I'll leave you with some pictures here from uh, Abel Reservoir. And uh, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.